Alright, uh, hey folks, this is Jake Davis, and on the fly review for you, and tonight I'm talking about No Exit, released back in February, uh, directly to Hulu, starring Dale Dickey and the first, the real first black president, Dan Saysburg. Whole setup here is a recovering drug addict escapes rehab after discovering that her mother is deathly ill. She gets caught in a blizzard and decides to stay at a, uh, 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 like a, uh, what do you call it, like a visitor's spot, a uh, visitor area. Um, this is, this is what call it. it's, it's like an indoor rest stop kind of thing. You know, there's not really a staff there, but just people to go and, and, you know, wait out, take a rest from driving, wait out bad weather, like what cold. have you. Yeah. And uh, while she's there, Outside, fucking around, trying to get a signal. She just finds a young girl uh, tied up and gagged in the back of a car. So it becomes a whole situation of they're stranded. They can't go anywhere. They can't call the cops because they can't get a signal. Uh, so she has to figure out which one of these random strangers at this place is a kidnapper while still trying to save the girl. I mean, yeah, she you could easily just say, why didn't she just ungag the girl and say, who did this to you? Five words. Whole thing settled. It's that dude. Him. <laughs> it's that simple. But, you know, then you want to have a movie. And this thing's already only 80 minutes long. So, <laughs> basically, we're going to cut this movie down to 20 minutes. Uh, ultimately, I thought the film was well shot um, uh, and entertaining. I always do enjoy uh, cold isolated settings for horror movies. They're very, very fitting for um, the genre. Instantly create uh, a sense of an atmosphere of inescapable danger uh, on a real world level. And I was saying that the villains being kidnappers instead of, you know, a, a, a serial killer or even a, uh, a, like a, like a, like a vampire or something. I kind of I enjoyed that kind of providing this nice realistic threat uh, because you know kidnappers, traffickers, it's you know it's a serious problem. You know, keep an eye on your kids. Uh, but it's I, I, I'm kind of in between on this movie. I enjoyed this movie. Uh, had uh, some <laughs> it reminded me of a of a of a certain '90s horror film that I absolutely fucking adore. And if you follow my channel, you know what the fuck I'm talking about. But if I were going to it, it would give away the ending. <laughs> but this, uh, I enjoyed it for the most part, even though I felt felt the film had some contrived weaknesses. Uh, but yeah, it's fun. It, it's it's worth watching. It's mostly it is the just. As I say, it's, 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 it's well shot, nice photography, good editing, terrible CGI. I gotta point out this fucking PlayStation 95 CGI they got going on this thing. It was bad, but it was bad. But the fucking CGI was just so bad in this movie. Uh, but I did appreciate some of the more realistic aspects of what was going on, and I did really, really like the violence and the gore, you know, when they, when they take it to that kind of, you know, 127 hours kind of gruelingness, <laughs> that's, that's it's badass, I like it, I'm sorry, but I don't like that, anyhow, uh, I'm gonna give it three and a half stars, I mean, it's, cause it's, it, it's recommended, I'm recommending it, check it out, you know, if you got, if you got Hulu, you feel like you come across it, check it out, it's worth, it's worth your watch, it's a short flick, uh, but, uh, no, it's no masterpiece, anyhow, I'm Jake Davis, and I'll catch you on the fly.